For example, you picked the Joker, so it kind of matches you, right? <laughs> the real magic is the friendships you ruined along the way. No way! No! Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, uh, babies, the babies, yes. little baby, wh whichever one it is, <laughs> <laughs> to another episode of the A-Raps Podcast. Today, we have Sean Does Magic on the pod. That's me. That's my, that's me. I do magic, and I also pronounce things wrong. What is a baby? A uh, Habibi. It's Habibi is the name of the community well, member. It's, it's like Habibi. It's Habibi, but oh, I say Habibi. Oh, Habibi. Habibi. Yeah. Like, walla yalla, inshallah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You guys be rhyming your shit. Bro, yeah, I, be, I, be, I, be, I be saying that randomly now because I be hanging around y'all a lot more. I be like, Wala, Yala, Inshallah, Shot, Kala, Bala. I'm like, whoa, I'm there. I love it. This is awesome, man. This is great. I love it. Dude. It's so fun. Yo, it's such dude, an easy word. We, yeah, we, I forgot you could rap, dude. I forgot you could rap the We're the sheer inspiration for that Mr. Beast diss track. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wow, these words rhyme really well. <laughs> I can rap, dude. <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. Did you drop Arabic in that at all? No. <laughs> that <was tight. laughs> no. Welcome in, Shawnee. Dude, Thank Sean you. is coming off of a Nickelodeon Choice Awards orange carpet yeah. interview session. Yep. I saw some of the videos you did. Yeah. I saw you doing magic for Sandy Cheeks. I did do that. I thought that was pretty cool. I did do that. The I voices. Thought was, I thought she was a great sport. Oh, amazing. Was there anybody else on that car? First of all, like, how do you, how do you, we're, we're going to get into like a little bit of the history, right? Okay. So yes. a little bit, but I just <laughs> want to know where, how did you hear about that? Like you were going to do that event? Oh no, bro. I like, I wanted that event so bad. Yeah. I don't think people don't realize it. I want to be a host. Like I, I'm yeah. a magician right now, but I want to host. I want to do more stuff like this, you yeah, know, like yeah, talk, yeah. talk to people, interview, talk on the mic um, and just like host events and just host like award shows like that. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is kind of like my first stepping stone. So I, I literally spam. I, dude, people don't know this. I emailed every rep, like head rep of Nickelodeon. I sent them a personalized video saying that I wanted to do the Kids' Choice Awards this year. And it yes. worked out. They emailed me like two weeks ago. They're like, you want to do it? I'm like, that's amazing. Yes, yes. Oh, so Dude, that's you reached amazing. out to them? I yes. love that. I yes, love that. I wanted it so, so bad. smart. Yes, bro. My end goal is to host the Oscars. I want to <laughs> get there. I need to get there. You got to make up for Joe Coy. Dude, <laughs> Dude I remember. I remember Brother. I no. Okay, I, I will say so this. I will bad. say this. My dad is like good friends with his mom. I love Joe Coy. <laughs> and so like we, uh, I haven't like, I've actually never met Joe or we've never like actually had a yeah. conversation, but our f family are friends. Yeah. And so um, there's only so many Filipinos in the industry. So when mm -hmm. I saw that he was hosting an award show that big, I was like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And then I saw what happened. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> I, want, I, I just, it sucks because like now it's like he did the first one. And I hope he gets a chance to redeem himself in his career. Which I do thing. too. You're gonna redeem it for him. Ooh, uh, or yeah, that, yeah, that'd be sick. That well, that'd be sick. I mean, that's uh, yeah. He's he's really good though. But I want to get to that point. I we'll could see. see. I mean, I honestly, I could see. I could see you hosting like even just like at a smaller scale. Not really a smaller scale, but at oh, a smaller oh, so scale you don't like think YouTube. I can get the Oscar? No, you no, like, no, 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 Hopefully you host the Oscars the year Raf is nominated oh, for that'd one. That's sick. That part. I'd vouch. That part. I'd be like, what if I hand Sean you on. the award? Dude, I would kiss you. Huh? <laughs> I'd kiss you, bro. Why? And I do you? magic. <laughs> what? I do magic. That would kiss be you. sick. No, yeah. I'd be, I'd be stoked, that'd be dude. Sick. That would kiss Yo, you. You'd be tackling sure. two things at once. Yep. What, what's what am I tackling? The hatred against homophobia and magic. <laughs> dude, we can make a statement. <laughs> we can make a statement. <laughs> I'll kiss you and then I'll pull a card out of my mouth. Dude. Oh, what is that your card? <laughs> Holy shit. That was amazing. That was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> what I was saying was I could see you like starting off like being like, okay, cool. Like the streamies or like the YouTube yeah. like hosting. Like you yeah. could do that. I could see you doing that. I could see, I could just see the, the step. We're trying, stones we're to trying to Oscars. progress. I mean, like, I'm, I'm stoked. For yeah, it. it's that. And then like, oh, dude, I want to get into the world of acting. I just can't act for shit, bro. I suck. Dude, take a class. Yeah, I if saw, I find a good one, I'll bring you on. I saw you in Spider Man. You did good. Oh, uh, you hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're intimate. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Oh, yeah. 
way. <laughs> Dude. Dude. The last short I saw from Sean that came up on my feed was him fucking pulling the Spider-Man picture away bro, from someone. Bro, look, I got to be honest, man. I I, not, I shit you not. This I, happens all the time. Even yesterday, bro. No, I, I was literally at the after party and this kid goes up to me. Mom, mom, look. I look over. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a photo with this kid. I'm next to my manager. This is great. Awesome. Like, good rep, right? I go over and the kid goes, ah, he's in Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, man, no. What and you, you know say? what? I always take the photo because I don't want to break the kid's heart. <laughs> so he'll be telling me things like, oh, like, you did so good. Like, how's working with Tom Holland? I'm like, great. <laughs> he's amazing. amazing. He's so talented. <laughs> I want to die. How's the day is so hot. Yeah. So yeah, great. So Wonderful. cool. Yeah, I love oh it. <laughs> no, I, I happen, bro, uh, genuinely happens like once a week. Like the Ned from Spider-Man. Dude, that's, Which is crazy because I don't even look that much like no, that, you don't. honestly. You don't. You don't. Dude. You really don't. And yeah. Dude, the, the, In more ways than the one you don't. <laughs> the craziest thing about it is you like don't. you're famous for something different, which is weird. Like they're not realizing they're also taking pictures of someone famous. <laughs> you know, like how dumb you have to feel yeah, to be like, yeah. hey man, like, like, oh, that was just a random dude. It's like, no, that's Sean does magic. <laughs> well, you know what? Someone said this, and I think it's really accurate. If you take me and you mix me with the kid from Up, you... Oh no, t t Ned from Spider Man mixed with the kid from Up. You get me, yeah. and I think that that's more accurate. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Yeah, I have a. You, have you seen my necklace? My Up. No, I haven't. Let me see this. The up oh, one. that's oh, the yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's tight, dude. Yeah. It's the little like house up? with all the balloons. Yeah, it's you, the balloon. You love Up? What do you mean? I love Up. What kind of? <laughs> Who doesn't love up? There's something behind this. Why are you? Yeah, up, up, Up is a fun movie. Let's <laughs> we'll just up. cut it. We'll cut it. <laughs> have no, you seen up's Up? Dope. Have you seen Up? Yes. Have oh, you? really? It's the one with the old man and... Yeah, I know what the movie is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> why would she not know the movie? I just wanted to clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to clarify. Can I, know, can I be honest? The reason why we asked is Frogan has seen very limited movies. So she's acting like that's a crazy question to ask her. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Nightcrawler. <laughs> with Jake Gyllenhaal. What? That's your favorite movie? It's usually, usually like, like your favorite movie has to like touch your soul. What about Nightcrawler touches your soul? It the fact that he moves so around good. dead bodies. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah. watch this. Do, do the Nightcrawler thing. No, oh, we do, do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it, no, do it. Okay, do it, no, Sean. No, you do it. No, I'm not doing it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the monologue, but he goes like, "Excuse me, sir, I'm looking for a job. I'll have you know that this self esteem move." I love that. I don't know. It was just such a good fucking movie. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Nightcrawler. I'm happy for you. Yeah. That's good. Would you say Up is your favorite movie? No. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? My all-time favorite movie? Million Dollar Baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home. Shit is <laughs> list, dude. Uh, <laughs> no. Actually, um, Pursuit of Happiness, but whatever. Bro. Oh, that's a great that's movie. A good movie. That's, that's a, a great movie. movie. Yeah. That's that a feels movie. like your that feels like your your origin story, like as a person. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I kind of you just call me poor. Well, yeah. you you grew up. In, <laughs> what? Well, you grew you grew up in a in a minority family that were just immigrants. That is true. Philippine? That is true. Filipino, right? Uh, straight from Filipino. Filipino. Straight, straight from the Philippines. <laughs> I'm such a fuck. Straight I'm, from the Filipino. See, see how <laughs> from the country of Filipino. The Philippines. You, yes. <laughs> you did the microaggression. I know I did. I did. Because I was looking deep in his, in his eyes and I was like, Filipino. <laughs> I don't know. Why my was. eyes? That's no, he, fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> really fucked Wait, up. no. You could, have, you could have said anything. You could, yeah, I just was staring at your soul. No, I was thinking yeah. about you, dude. And I was like, oh, he's You're like, I had to li really look at his eyes. It was hard to find. I was, I'm not giving up. I'm not, I'm not digressing. I think, I think Rap is feeling it out. Rap is like, Filipino? <laughs> yeah. Filipino. No, I know. I know. No, dude. Filipino. I know. Filipino. <laughs> Yeah. The, the saddest thing is I'll that I'll be issuing out apology later to, <laughs> later this episode. People who don't know, Sean lives with my brother. That we like I see Sean all the time. <laughs> that is so this true. is like this is kind of funny, but also like Raph should know this. I do know <laughs> this. <laughs> well, why are you call it Phil it's Philippines? Just Philippines. the Philippines, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying I was I was looking at you and I was thinking about you and I was like, oh, he's yes. Filipino. Yes. And then it came out Filipino instead of Philippines. Yes, that's and I apologize. Yes. But your parents but are from the Philippines. Yeah, very very similar. And we we I mean not on some like sob story shit, but like we actually grew up poor. Yeah. Like on food stamps. And so, yeah, similar, similar story. Similar story. Similar story. And you're balling. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's that's I live with your brother, here. so I've made it. <laughs> 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 no, dude, in a house that has no AC, dude, you're fucking, you're, you made it. Dude. Yes, 
<laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, quit your job. It's over. It's, it's so over. I've been sitting here thinking about a movie that has like touched my soul, but I genuinely cannot think of one. You don't have a, there's not a single movie that. No. Not even the minions that we just saw? Or, or, like, or you don't leave a movie happy? You really got to Or like inspired? What about Godzilla, inspired? Godzilla minus one didn't make you. Huh? Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing made you. Really? No. What? Huh. What, what? So why are you watch movies? Because they like watching movies. Oh, she movies. does. And we we, yeah, we, we like take her with movies. us. What do you do? I watch it. No, what do you do? Just a day to what? What? What makes you happy? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, this is good. Oh questions. my god, this is why she. This is the therapy thing. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. My get therapist it. literally asked me the same shit last week. No. Okay. Actually, what? What? Okay. What do you? What do you? What is like hobbies? I don't have any anymore. I monetize my hobby. So now I don't have any fun hobbies. What's what's the hobby that you monetize? Streaming. Okay, I know oh, okay. that. I'm just saying for people. Do you feel that know. way uh, since you started doing magic for content and you know it's your main source of income? Do you feel do you feel that way as well? Like I mean, I don't really know a hobby I, anymore. It's my career. I mean, it's like both though. Because yeah. like I well I don't know. I think my truest passion is like creating like just creative ideas that come to life and seeing it like do well and succeed. That is my hobby, like, I, and also my career at the same mm -hmm. time. I don't know if it's necessarily magic because honestly, at the end of the day, I just like entertaining people. That's really it. Yeah. Heard. Yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. It's just like the last like few months, I kind of de developed like a resentment towards streaming yeah. and content creation a little bit. So I'm just like in a weird. What part of streaming do you like hate or that you're like. That I hate the or, most. Or like not trying to like, that you don't, that just you don't like, like. Random fucking people coming into my chat. Really? Yeah. God, trolls? I yeah trolls. You hate trolls. You get trolls. You stream. I mean, not really. Yeah. I mean, I get the put the fries in the bag all the time. Like I get that all the time. <laughs> like just put the fries in the bag already, bro. Like I want a number fourteen. Like okay, bro. I don't. I'm good. But I don't. I don't have like too many. I don't know. I guess I don't re read the comments. Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, um, I have a few hobbies. Like what? I mean, I like playing video games. I don't know. I mean, I like. Basketball, basketball. I, I hoop yeah. a lot. I mean, I don't know. I do a lot of just random shit, to be honest. Um, but I don't know. My my main, I, similar to you, like my hobby is also my career. Like yeah. I get so excited when I have like a video that I'm like, I know that this is gonna do so well, and I go out film it and it does well. That's like that's like my pride and yeah. joy and everything. You know, which no, is why I'm doing dude. this podcast because it's gonna <laughs> hell this is, yeah. This is, this, is, this, is, this is what I'm saying. Like this and is, comment. Make it do well. Subscribe, yeah. Yeah, this is subscribe. The <laughs> uh, no, but uh, one of the things that uh, we were talking about is that uh, with you, like, when did you get your start doing magic? Like, how young were you? Uh, I was six years old. I was so, I was, yeah. I mean, I feel like every kid does magic growing up. I mean, did you learn a magic trick when you were young? You know, for Halloween, you know, I was so invested in, like, you know, trick or treat. I was like, I'm just going to do a trick. And I did that one where you, like, you, you tape a little toothpick to the back of your Oh, thumb, yeah, and you, make it advantage, flick, yeah. yeah. And it was sick. Yeah, I teach yeah. that on my course. Buy it right now. Sean teaches magic. There you go. That's the plug. <clears throat> we were talking about that. I was I was like, Sean, Sean will tell. Do you get heat from the magician community for telling people how to do magic? Bro, the magic community is so whack, bro. It's actually so <laughs> whack. Like, I, I hate magicians. No, I'm so serious. They are so, bro. I, I hate magicians, man. Bro, I literally oh. told them, I was like, we should have Sean look at some tricks and tell us how it's done. Like, no, magic magicians will come after them. I'm like. I think he does that though. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I, I reveal tricks. There's like a fine line in the magic community of what you can or cannot reveal. But how else will people learn? How do you know which ones you can well, reveal? Here, some things are like held behind like a paywall. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> magicians are just the capitalists. I don't know. <laughs> but are you paywalling it though? Or is it free? What's up? No, uh, all, I mean, all of my, uh, on my Sean Teaches Magic, like I have a separate account where I teach, just teach magic. Mm -hmm. Everything's free. I mean, you can learn on there. Yeah. And then, there are things that you have to put behind a paywall because it's just like more, it's regarded as more like sacred or like Secret. held by certain people. Like some people have the certain rights to like teach the trick or whatever. Mm, okay. It's weird, bro. But like everything about magic is just so like, I look, it's, it's the community that's put me on and I love it. And honestly, like I, I, I would be nowhere without being a performer, being a magician, but um, there's definitely a lot of downsides, man. Like the, you know, the magic castle, right? Yeah. yeah like half yeah. the members hate me. Oh, really? Really? they've never met me. Half the members hate me, bro. Dude, have you ever gone? 
uh i've i've performed there for like i filmed like stuff there but like i haven't oh, cool. i haven't gone gone dude we should go i would love I to i want to see how much they're like i want to see if like they give like sean like weird looks i don't know I've, I've definitely they just hate social media magicians because they don't think that we can actually perform if we dress doing up, this for so if long, we dress them up as ned from spider-man they won't all right bro you. what if we dress you up as ned from spider-man they mean, won't just know me you. dressing up yeah, in the I, high school attire or whatever. <laughs> the high school attire. Good. <laughs> you know, the, the you, know, you can't jacket. even get into the Magic Castle without dressing up pro like in like formal clothes. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a whole thing. Oh, yeah, they're so like I sacred with everything, man. I know nothing about Magic Castle. That's your excuse wild. to dress up. You, you go there for like dinner and a show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you have to get magic. You, you can only get. <laughs> <laughs> you can only get invited. Oh, really? Yeah. We're to gonna, the Magic Castle. Yeah, you can't go unless you're invited. That's oh, so funny. I got invited to go and I said no. <laughs> that was your last chance. <laughs> I, didn't know it was I, last feel, I feel like we were listening to a podcast a couple months ago that was talking about it. Were we? I, I think no it might have been take your shoes off. They make you take your shoes With off. Rick Glassman. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Can we so. go, Frogan? So. No, we can't. Okay, what's so, going on in your brain right uh, now? No, I'm dude. bouncing around. Here's a question. It's I have like for mind you. No, here, here's a question I have for you. If you are supposed to pay wall shit, yes. How did you learn the hard shit? Uh, I had to buy it. Who'd you learn from? Yeah, Miss how, Mag. how did you learn? Yeah, I mean, oh God, man, there's. So when I grew up, I was learning through. I would rent, literally rent books at like libraries or whatever. But just like rent out books, or like whenever my birthday or Christmas would come around, I would always get like a magic. You're good. I would always get like a magic kit of some sort. Like Chris Angel magic kit was like one of the big things I would always ask for, or something like that. Um, and so, but as I gotten like older, like my parents, like I would. I was six at the time, seven, eight. You know, when I was like nine, ten, I started like finding out about YouTube, mm. and uh, I started learning magic from this guy called Mismag Eight Two Two, the card trick teacher. Which um is like he's the one who taught me everything. I didn't have no like actual like in person teacher. He taught me everything. I learned at home, and somehow, yeah, I hope he's still alive. Yeah, because he followed you. He, not, he liked something or followed you not like a couple years ago. Yeah, he subscribed to me a couple years ago. Because I, yeah. I, I commented on this thing. I said like, yo, you literally gave me my career. And at the time, I, he never did a face reveal. He never revealed his actual name. No, nothing. It was very anonym, anonymous. But um, I remember knowing that like for some reason I knew that he was really old. Like it was like 60 or something. And this was like, what, 15 years ago. So I hope he's still alive. Ms. Mag, if you're out there, please find me. I want to meet you. Please. And Miss Mag, if you're watching this podcast, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's you... happening right now, dude? <laughs> just, just, just left uh <laughs> left YouTube on for too long. <laughs> just you think you guys are the podcast that cycles through when you dude, fall asleep? I, our, our podcast? Yeah, you wake up and it's just you guys laughing. Doug, what the <laughs> fuck? What are we doing that. here? <laughs> I, I, I was that. watching basketball highlights. I, I, think, <laughs> I hope so. I don't know if we're the ones that you sleep to because I feel like we just start screaming at each other once too much so people wake up from the nightmare, you know? Mm. No. No, dude. They'll wake up. They'll just so see you. We're not a comfort podcast by any means. Oh, okay. I'm, what? Hi, and welcome to our podcast. <laughs> this is our NPR podcast. Today, we will be talking about soap. Salt? Soap? Soap. It's and important. My favorite thing about soap is See, he it, does not have a good voice. He has a very yeah, like, that's like a very, let me get into it. For, you, for you're so, the, no, I'm not going to lie. It. Like, I just, I, as soon as you started talking, I, I was startled. I, go, <laughs> I, I, I was joking. No, you were, dude. Dude, it was like World Give War, us your dude. calm voice. Hello. It's, oh, oh my God. God. It feels what? like you're going to beg for money. You sound like the Joker, dude. I'm not the Joker. Palestinian Joker over here. Hello, why soap? If you guys are getting soap, get it inside you. No, no get, it, I mean, get it all over your body and wash it off. <laughs> what? That's, that's why it's we, we tell Capri to be brand safe, and this is what, <laughs> this is what happens. That's, that is brand safe. It's just so. <laughs> how would you tell kids to wash their hands? Like if you were like in a kid commercial, I want to. Oh, he this. knows a lot about washing his hands. He what? doesn't do it. Oh, I do wash my hands. Oh. I have OCD. What is your problem? <laughs> F off, dude. Okay, okay here let's we go. Hear, all right, all right, and actually, let's say with your chest. Okay, F off. Hey, what's up, kids? Wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands, your hands are gonna get oh, dirty. No. It's funny because he thinks this is animated, but it's actually just a it's a video of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, I like that you thought that yeah. the we never said the commercial was animated. I thought it was animated. No, dude, I thought it was even like a character. Oh, oh no. Okay, hold you. on. All right, let's just do, I can do Sean. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Don't do Sean. Just do wait. 
I, oh, I'm gonna do that something. That seemed racist. I wasn't racist. <laughs> that seemed what racist. Did I say? <laughs> that seemed like was that racist? racist. You did like the Asian, like I, yeah, no, dude, I yeah, yeah, dude. I do. I heard it. Yeah, I wasn't dude. doing that, huh? dude. I was yeah, getting angry. Buddy. Okay, hold you on. You said angry. Oh, no. <laughs> what? I heard that. <laughs> okay, here we go. God, I heard it. I heard him. I heard him say it. Dog, <laughs> listen. All right, all right, all right kids. Wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands, you're going to end up on drugs. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Not bad. You look like, well, you know, like when people used to have those, like, uh, oh, no. Those, uh, uh, what, this, what's it called? Why don't you, you finish have... the fucking thought and email to me, <laughs> yeah. bitch? All right. <laughs> yeah, I get it because he didn't yeah. finish his thought. Yeah. So you have to say, yeah, that. thank you for saying that. A, no. You don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't wash your hands. You got to wash your hands first. I wash them. <laughs> Scootist. Do assembly. It's like when you go to the assembly Excuse for like fact drugs. Check, fact check it on the screen that I wash my hands. <laughs> uh, Capri has head. had the same soap bottle of soap at his house since I moved here in November. That's crazy. I filled re- to the brim. I refill it. That's no, crazy. What are you talking about? No. no weird. What, how is it? You don't refill your soap bottle? No, I get a new soap bottle. No, you're. T- I'm talking about a glass soap bottle. No, it's the Miel olive oil whatever nasty fuck one. I don't have. Oh, I don't use that. Well, cl- clearly. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Let's talk about Sean and his fucking magic, dude. Turn right, my so, podcast against me in two minutes, dude. Sorry. So you're six years old. You're learning magic. You're yes. getting pretty good at it. Yep. You start uh, deciding that you want to Can maybe do, do some this magic for... before we get Can you shut up? I just swear let it to talk. You-, <laughs> <laughs> you start deciding, like, hey, this is yeah. what I want to do. I want to be a creator. You went to, yeah. uh, you saw Fusi Live. Fusi Two. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You know that you saw Fusi Two live when you were. What was that like? Twelve, thirteen. I was. I was. Yeah, I was pretty young. It was Fusi Two been Roman Atwood. Yeah, I don't know if like you turning. know. Yeah, I know Roman, Roman Atwood is like Smile More. Yeah, yeah. So lo- I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. It sounds so familiar, but I can't he, put it. He, you know Fusi Two? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the first Arab creator. And then Roman Atwood. That's the one I'm kind of Family like. Channel, Family Channel, Smile he More. He got stalked really bad mm-hmm. and it became uh, like national news. Mm. Yeah, well, um, they went on tour right. together. They did the Smile More tour together. And I was so young and it was the first creator I ever like met in person. Like, like I wanted to go to an event. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was, I was, that was crazy. They, they came out with so much energy and so many different things. I remember they were like shaving people's heads and it was like just a wild... It was a wild event. And me being like 13, 14, I'm like, oh my God, like this is awesome. Like one day I want to like be a creator and tour. But um there was there was a moment right after that where like we were all waiting at the bus mm-hmm. where where the like all of the cast and crew and whatever were gonna leave and we're trying to wait to take photos and all the fans were there. And I was like, I'm like the front of it. I'm like, I'm gonna take a photo with them. They said that they might stop and take photos <laughs> yeah, with everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yes, that's awesome. And my friend goes, Sean, yo, you, we're not going to, they're not going to be here. If they're going to be anywhere, like we're, they're going to be like at the back. And I was like, no, I'm right here. I'm staying. My spot's right at the front. He's, I'm going to go check out the back. Five minutes later, he comes back. He says, guys, look at this photo. And it's them right before going into their Uber and leaving. Oh, and I, bro, I was like, I was like 14. And I remember tweeting Roman out what I said. You made me smile less today. I was, I was, <laughs> I was the so sad. So I was so sad. sad. Yo, dude, they just made you a fucking villain arc, dude. That's why he's yeah. like, I'm gonna learn magic and fuck their life up. <laughs> no, th- th- that's like the worst shit. Like you go to like an event or like a concert or something, you're waiting, and then you find out that like yeah, you I'm, fucking missed it. Yeah, I missed it. It yeah. was, but it was, it was a looking back, it was a great event. But I was definitely really sad. But that that was cool, and you know, that, it was it was really like that was really inspiring to see like yo YouTubers just like have a sold out like crowd mm-hmm. of people like th- it was like very inspiring like oh i because i was doing some videos at that time i was like i can get to that point mm-hmm. eventually maybe one day yeah would you ever do like a magic tour i don't know if it'll be magic i don't know i, d- I don't know like i said like we're kind of like stepping away from the magic mm-hmm. I, I just want to be an overall entertainer because i don't know maybe i'll just oh, in over my head or i'm just talking my shit but like i i think that i can do stuff i, I can be known for not no just i think you can too thank you thank it's you. all in the personality too. thank you yeah have you met like Fousey yes. and Roman like in your creator era? Uh, not Roman, but Fousey, yes. Yes. I've done magic for him on stream recently. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, you went to Yeah, Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was and at so, Bryce Hall's, right? Uh, it was at, it was during like one of the Misfits boxing events. Right, 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 was, right, like, right. Hosting or helping out with. Right. And um, yeah, really, 
dude, I, I also saw like, so I did magic for him at there. He was like telling me, he's like, you're the best magician I've ever seen. And that was like a very full circle moment. That's crazy. I texted my friend that I went to the tour with, the one who got the photo. I was like, look at this podcast clip. And he was like freaking out. He's like, what? That's insane. Full circle. <laughs> and um, after that, uh, like two weeks later, he was hanging out with Alex Wasabi and they were watching one of his videos. And I just collabed with Alex on that video. Mm. And as soon as I popped up on the screen, because he goes, I know that kid. I know that kid. And I was like, oh my God, this is like weird. Like, this is weird. Like 12 years ago, I was like yeah. a fan. I overpaid for overpriced tickets to see him. And it was just, it was like everything that comes full circle in my life. Like uh, the Kids' Choice War is that, like going to the streamings, things like that. VidCon, being a feature creator of VidCon, that was huge mm -hmm. for me. Like everything about that, like all those moments are just like little things. I'm just, wow. I, I don't know how I'm here. I really don't. Mm -hmm. What other well, you know how. I mean, like you put in the fucking work. <clears throat> you put in the work. I mean, that's easy to say, but no, like, it's also not. kind well, of it's not easy. a lot of a lot of luck. It's no hundred percent. It's hundred percent. You bought a luck. lot of lottery tickets, but your work ethic, from what I believe, I, you said it. I mean, you were about to go to college, but you decided not to go to college. Correct. You put your head down for four years. I did do that, and you just grinded it out. You said, "I'm Thanks, not going man. to bed." You, I, you said this in an interview. You I said, did "I'm say not." That. I'm not going to bed until I post two. Okay, videos. that's dramatic. Though I mean, I mean, it's not like I wasn't. But I'm not saying like, every time, day, day, every time I've seen you, you're you had. Every time I've seen you, you're working. Yeah, you're not like the type every time I've like, seen you, you're working. Yeah, you're not like doing anything else. You know what I mean? As the, I when you know. when you do have a chance to chill, it looks you. like thank you just you. finished thank a whole you. day of work. Yeah, you know, I look that rough. You don't. Yeah, look it's rough. like I. This guy looks like he was bro. Take a nap. You do look rough. You look like you need a nap sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This man was working. You work, dude. You work. Thanks, and you, and it's not. So it's Thanks. not. It's not that surprising to be honest. Thanks. You know, I'm. It's, it's it's great. What other YouTubers have you watched growing up? Oh wow, um, like your top like three. Oh, growing up, man, a lot of them like I just they're not like creators anymore but like yeah. ryan higo was like well i guess ryan still streams right ryan's around ryan's, ryan's around. Ryan around. streams on twitch every once in a while i think ryan's around yeah, yeah. Ryan's around. he was just in mr beast video yeah he was, was oh he was yeah just what? Oh. Uh, was he ryan no, trahan no, no ryan no he's he's a ryan, Tra <laughs> ryan higo <laughs> ryan higo <laughs> Right, dude. He, this guy took it. This guy took it. This guy made him got white different so races. fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ryan Trey. Honestly, now it's just Frogan starting to do something microaggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Like, now he, we're full. He does still stream on Twitch. Yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So Ryan Higo was like a huge one for me, and that was uh -huh. that was big, bro. Because you know how many Asian creators there were. <laughs> there was like two. Yeah. Tim and at the time Tim Timothy Delegato, which I believe he changed his actual last name recently. I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. He's still kind of around too, but he just kind of pops in and out of different things. Yeah, like he'll come up on a reel, and I'm like, "What's Delic? What's Delic yeah. kind of doing?" Here, I know dude? it's just he random. But here. it was those two who I was like really inspired by, and I would see like people like Josh Quandike Bar who would like do all the vines with like the Asian vines, like oh, the B yeah. plus, and like, oh, dude, those pissed me off so much growing up because I was like, I had to answer for his videos mm -hmm. every time he posted something. Oh, you cannot see. Everyone tomorrow, the next day, oh, oh, I saw you cannot see, can you? I'm like, ha, ha, ha I can't see. Yeah, so funny. I love it. It's amazing. Really, I can't see. Dude, I never thought oh. about that, but that's like, that's like, I was always mad because there was no Arab creators. We had Fousey. Yes. Like, we had Fousey. Like, that yes. was, that was it. Dog. And we had the dude who got on a car and said, Drake's going to be at this event. Dude, dude. That was it. <laughs> What do you mean yoga pants, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Fousey moment from recent was him getting pulled over. Oh my god! And he was like, oh, <laughs> "I hate you guys." Yeah, or wait, he was like the pretending SWAT? to be. No, he got pulled over. And he, he pretended to be gay. He's like, "Oh my god!" He's very oh, zesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they let He's, him go. And what a guy, pretty, man! He's funny. such a person. He, like such a like charismatic personality. It's insane. But yeah. I mean, yeah, that I. The only one. That's a good point. I didn't even Wait, think about Fousey, that. Fousey, DJ Khaled, and then that was it. Like he's not a content creator, was he? No, no, okay, no, no, yeah, no. He's like someone famous. <laughs> Another bro, one, dude. What, when you're Palestinian, we have three people total, dude. Across that's crazy. Content creators <laughs> and everything else. Like who? Who else is there? Like literally, I don't even Arab creators. Like who's like Arab? Well, creator I mean, like up? there's like a lot of sneakerheads. I feel like. There is no. There's like there's a lot of secret. There's a lot of like secret. But even sneakerheads are just kind of recently now. Not I won't even say recently, but are now kind of like the. Wait, okay, it. I might be dumb. All right, so this is I'm no, gonna you, preface it like that. But is you know Kai Somar? Uh, uh, no. The sneakerhead. No. Is he what? Lebanese? I mean, to be honest, yeah, we had we had I had my cousin who's 
food beast you know like that was it yeah we have Eli. 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 uh i mean we have josh elka and he's not era but he looks it so he's literally not yeah he does he <laughs> looks it yeah we do no, but <laughs> i have no idea i mean like i'm trying to think about it like the only oh we had fuzi no that was it. Oh, he's from afghanistan that's close that enough. counts close enough that close counts. enough doesn't speak nah. arabic but that it's counts. close enough yeah you had your racist moment. Yeah, we, I, yo, we all. <laughs> not we all. I'm, when a lot of us were growing up, not me we, yet. All, yeah, she said, "Yeah, she's waiting for it." Oh, yeah. <laughs> the she's right moment. Locked and loaded. The right moment. Wait, dog. <laughs> when we were growing up, we didn't have a lot of sneakerheads on uh, on uh, YouTube or sneakerhead influencers. Wait, how old are y'all compared to me? I'm not that much older. I'm 29. I'm 27. Caprice 40. I'm Pretty sturdy 40. six. You're 40? <laughs> no, he's 30. So I was like, <laughs> we just had this conversation with me and Sean like two years ago. 40? He's 40. 40. He's 36. <laughs> 40. I'm not Sean. Is he okay? <laughs> he's 40. I'm not 40. Okay. All he's right, so no. much older than you. Isn't that crazy? No, but Dominic's so much older than you, too, though. Y yeah. Yeah, but he's not 40. Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he was like in a whole ass like high school when you were born. Wow. What was yeah, like dude. when you were graduating high school? What was the phone that you used? <laughs> the, I used uh, it was AT&T color phone. The hell is that? Dude, that shit color like phone sick. is insane. It had a background and it had color like little phone. fishes that swam across it. it oh, I remember those phones. Phone. It was the first. I don't color even phone remember ever. that. Okay, the, the phones that we had back in the day were the Nokia or the Razor. It yes. was the Razor and the Sliver. I had a Razor. Yeah, the Sliver and the Razor. No, yeah, for sure. You do you know what you that mean is? The scooter? Is he do you know what the that? scooter? Wait. No, 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 not the scooter. Sean, <laughs> you don't know, the know what the Sliver or the Razor is? The, the Razor was like a really flat is that a fish. fish. Is that a fish? The skitter is the fish. Yeah. Sean, so there's no the, fucking way you don't. know. I actually have no idea what the fuck you're do talking you not about. Know? I dead ass. Okay, dead ass. okay. When I got out of high school, I went to Lebanon and I had a Razor, and my dad was like, "Yo, Still give the scooter." Not the scooter. <laughs> no, 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 like the physical Razor. It's a Nokia phone, and it flips, and it goes, and then you go, "Hey, hello, Moto." That wasn't the same company, but you know what it is. Wait, hold on. Whenever. But can't just you calling somebody. What would you do? Okay, I mean, what would you well, do? He just did that, so I mean, I'm not. No, well, I mean, what would you do? Like, if, like, if I was to like answer, if, yeah, it would be like that. <laughs> that's crazy. Could, that could be. Old. I still do this. Yeah, that's old people shit. Because you would flip, you would flip the phone. Yeah, or you just had a landline. Well, I mean, that like, had I, okay, my sister had a flip phone, so and she's two years older than me. Even so. in sign language now, it's transferred over from this, and now people are doing this. For Is that it. actually true? Yeah. Oh really? God. Wow. Mm. Our language evolves every day, dude. Sign language? Sign mm. language too. Wow, that's crazy. That's it's wild. For sign language, you know, you do this. Mm. For phone, or oh, you do really? this. Why phone. do you know that? I'm, I'm fluent. Re are you deadass? Yeah, my dad's deaf. There's no way. Yeah. Wait, can you act? Can you had? Never mind. I'm. I'm no. What do you want? What do you want? Can like? What do you want, Shawnee? I just. Want, I have some questions. Let me. Yeah, yeah, dude, okay. On, I'll answer them. So is it just like freestyle when people be like? translating things on like when they're on this there's like, like sign music? language yeah so it's, they just be it's like, a different form of it's a different form of because i language. swear they just be doing things i'm like there's no way that fast they're it's all a lot of it it's about feeling depend especially like a good example is you know deaf people go to raves and they bring interpreters to raves so interpreters are will, they telling you what to feel like what they're they're what the, kind of they they for raves especially i'm just doing that because it has no most of the time it has no lyrics they go with based off feeling. Yeah. So, you know, for a deaf person, it's just vibrations. They just okay. feel vibrations. But an interpreter can kind of bridge the gap of to like what the sound is kind of doing. And okay. they kind of can follow that. Whoa. So for like rap shows, for like rock shows, for just like concerts in general. Yo, and you why get are the, the, songs. the sign language interpreters always be the most lit people? They have folk. to be, dude. Like, you know, imagine you're sitting there, you're watching, you're like trying to like, you're vibing out. And then you just see somebody going like this. Oh yeah, some bland. It's boring. No, it's always like on if some, you're, like when you're interpreting those concerts. I keep cutting you off, and I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. When you uh, when you in interpret those concerts, you match the feeling of the entertainer. So it's almost a form of shadow interpreting. That is so cool. And that way good they to know because sign language is an expressive format. It's yeah. an expressive language, and you can't just express with just your hands. You I'm not gonna lie. Like you know when they say everything. like you learn something new every day. I did not know it was gonna come from you today. <laughs> you were the last. <laughs> like, if there was like a Damn, dude. There was like a list of people Like Damn. you would like be like very far. No, I mean just cause like I, no, I'm That's just, payback dude No I'm just that was, that was thank you Thank you for that You're welcome it. dude Yeah if you have any other questions on that Let me know Yeah thank you. you I'll email you Yeah sounds yeah. good I, should, I just want to see like Raph do the sign language interpreting now Could you do it if I'm talking to Sean You can like do it as fast as I'm talking 
Maybe. I'm a little out of practice. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. I could, but I'm a, I'm a little out of practice. I feel like you're gonna you're like one of those people who's like, hey, man, don't drag me back into the game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I am like that, dude. When I was an interpreter, I, I hated it. So Really? Mm. Why? Well, you were an interpreter? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was an interpreter for like a solid year. Why'd you hate it? It's rough. I was doing mostly doctor's offices. Mm. Oh, shit. And that is like rough. Wow. You know? So. That's the worst place to be. Like the most yeah. intimate knowledge. Be like, by the way. Well, my the people. Imagine are, taking a rock star like interpreter and putting it inside like a like a doctor office. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they all do it. You know, my mom does. My mom <laughs> yeah, does it all. Die. <laughs> my mom does it all. She oh, does, wow. she does a performance. She does interpreting. She's actually going to interpret for Joe Biden pretty soon. Whoa. What? Yeah. So Wait, it's what? like what you what? never told us that. I didn't think it huh? never came up in conversation. Wait, yeah. like, excuse, what? Oh, by the way, I won the lottery last week, like a couple million dollars. <laughs> yeah, it just basically. never came up, bro. Yeah, it never came You're up in conversation. About, that is what? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What? <laughs> Fuck this guy. Yeah, dude. I, I think it's pretty him. cool. Oh, yeah, wow. That's pretty sick. Okay. But it's different. It's different mediums, you know? <sighs> but I was, I, I as, as soon as I finished my program, I went into medical and I didn't like it. Gotcha. And then I had a lot of, history and turmoil throughout growing up with my dad and my mom yeah. that I'm like, I don't really Feeling, I don't want to do this. I feel too much pressure. Damn. Yeah. And that's why I grew up poor. That's how I grew up poor. <laughs> Just to wrap it all together. That's how I grew up poor. Speaking of uh, growing, up, growing poor. up poor, this has nothing to do with that, but I want to see some goddamn magic. I want to see the magic. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. You know why? Why? Because Sean does magic. All right, man. <laughs> the funniest thing Thank is Thank you Sean... guys so much for watching the podcast. And <laughs> like and subscribe. The thing about Sean is Sean's, Sean literally goes, do you want us to do, you want me to do magic when I'm here? And I didn't think about it. And then you just saved it for the Patreon. No, I want to see the magic on the pod. I mean, yeah. come on. But the Patreon will expose him. Yeah, he's oh, going to teach us the trick. The magic or? The magic. Ah. Uh, I would never do anything like that. And we're gonna we're gonna do gotcha questions on the Patreon. Yeah. Oh. All right. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, well, first, before it. we get into yeah. that, um, I this is just like I literally just bought this deck of cards. So I'm gonna need someone <laughs> to open it, open it up, make sure it's all normal. Yeah, have Frogan do it. Shuffle it up and everything. Frogan's got so excited. What was the best reaction you got from somebody doing a mat when you after you did a magic trick? Dude, I actually the first video that ever went viral for yeah. me was me doing magic after like a soccer game to mm -hmm. a bunch of people in my high school. And they flipped shit and it went super viral. Like, imagine you have like no following and immediately one video gets 10 million views. Like yeah. it was like, whoa. And you've never like, you're like 14. I'm like, what? So that's, that's kind of what kickstarted my career. It was just like me, me doing magic and then candid moment. But that was that moment. Like it was like a group of like 30 kids. I'm like a freshman in high school. Yeah. Everyone's like seniors in the crowd. And they're like, ah! Like freaking out. <laughs> you were just in a huge soccer match recently. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. You were with Ronaldo Dino. Yeah, Ronaldo Ronaldo Dino. Ronaldo Dino. Yes. I say yes. Ronaldo Dino. <laughs> uh, now that it's all shuffled, guys, what we're gonna do? <laughs> Bro, is that the trick? <laughs> is the trick in the cards? Okay, explode? we don't even need all the cards. It's okay. Just as many as you can. <laughs> as you can give me. Oh uh, my God, um, Ronaldinho! Broken, dude. that was a new pack. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, it's it's perfectly fine. We don't even need Can all you the cards. Shuffle cart. them. <laughs> I think they have to be pretty. Is that the trick, Sean? Do you want me to shuffle, or yeah. do you want to? Yeah. So you're them, like, Sean. hey, open this pack of cards. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, that's the trick. No. <laughs> well, what's the trick to it? <laughs> I like that you you gave it to the Arab to make it explode. That's yeah, crazy, Sean. Wow. What what are you talking about? It's crazy. Fifty two wow. card po uh, pickup, dude. It's a really good game. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see it. Let's All see right. it. Hmm rough mm. all right I'm no, not that's not that bad it's not that bad i'm not a good shuffler at all dude. i actually will i'm gonna genuinely judge you on how you do this i'm gonna look through the cards i'm really i'm really not good at it dude. just shuffle it up buddy you want yeah. me to shuffle it up do i want you to shuffle it i'm up? a good shuffler i really don't believe that either. i'm a good shuffler yeah for sure don't say that sean no, i mean that's fine no nah, don't don't say it like that i'm a good shuffler i think oh, it's okay yeah no, it's not good <laughs> Give me the goddamn card. Here, take, take, take it then. Take it. They're kind of slippery. I'm not going to lie. When you grow up in a family of addicted gamblers, <laughs> they got you know how to shuffle. Something? Yeah. Sean I mean, knows. You shuffle. Did you put the Joker card back in there? What's Joker card? Take this oh, no, card that's it. Okay, there. I think we're good. Take this card. Oh, it's Perfect. slipping on this thing. I see. I see what's up. 
All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see the shuffle. I'm trying to Apparently, he's good at shuffling. Apparently. I am good at shuffling. It's just like literally... Are magic cards like slippery or some shit? Yeah. He's got he's got slippy hands. That's a normal ass deck of cards. No, he's got slippy hands. I don't know. I Is there a deck of cards back. here? I'll use any deck of cards. No, nah, dude. This? I think he's got slippy hands. Oh, no, man. I just think you can't shuffle. I can't shuffle on my... I, I need a table. Okay, right, go to bro. the desk and shuffle. Okay, I'm going to the desk. No, no, no. A real artist is going to table. This. So, chat, he's... I Oh, oops. chat. He dropped the mic. <laughs> He's walking over to the desk. All right. Yeah, for our audio. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice little shuffle there. Oh, okay. <laughs> one He's... card flew out. I honestly think... I, I, I have this lot of pressure right now. Yo, that's a tarot card. Which which one is that? That's our card of the destiny. No, look at it. <laughs> you put it back. Oh. Was that a king of diamonds? It's a jack of, uh, of clubs or whatever. Jack of clubs. Jack okay, of clubs. What does that mean? All right, I'll... <laughs> He dropped a heart. Let me let me see how well you <laughs> this did. This is so bad. Here we go. All right. Oh, well, you got uh, those are all. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the seven, eight, ten, Jack. What it's happened here? It's not bad. That would have been a good hand if we played poker. What happened? What oh, happened here? Oh, those guys—they like to hang out together. Huh? <laughs> this is this. This is like a consistent theme throughout the whole deck, by the Can way. Can I be honest? I was just trying to help you out with your little magic, buddy. All right, bro. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, all right. Cassie, is something weird? What? You have really nice nails. Oh, thank you. Did you get them done I, for I the year? Uh, done, yeah. Damn, he's good at shuffling. What, why would we have... Why? It's almost like it's his fucking he's job. He's been practicing since he was Why six? did we have him do it? Well, you're good at shuffling between a real job. Oh! And <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want the magic, dude. I just want to watch him shuffle. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Can you do me a favor? Can you reach in here? Just grab, uh, just grab any card that you want for me. Any card at all. Go ahead, take it out. Show it to everybody. Don't show it to me. Hold all on. Right. I can't. Oh. Okay, I got right, it. Go, put it back into the middle of the deck. Here we go. And uh, you remember what the number is, right? Yeah. You see, that's where you. I get you because it could have been a jack, queen, or king, or nace, but you said yes to the number. That's the first part. The second part is I want you to look right here. I want you to think of the number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Can you think of it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You stayed right on. Wait, three, four, five. Mmm. 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 Let me see. Wait, wait. Let me, let me. <laughs> don't, don't do Frogan. We're, you have the worst poker face yeah, in the entire world. Dude. All right, wait, wait. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's better. Three, four, five, six. Five of clubs, heart space. Uh, is it the five of hearts? Is it the five of hearts? I'm fucking done. Wait, 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 wait. Who has their phone on them? I have it. Here. Yeah. I oh, have it. Oh, okay. Can you go into my Instagram real Stop! quick? Stop! No! Shut the fuck up. Okay. I, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Can you just no go to my way. Instagram? Just go to my Instagram. There's no way, dude. <laughs> dude. If it's on your Instagram, I'm done, dude. All right. Look at my bio. Read my bio out loud. You picked the five of hearts. How'd you do that? <laughs> no way! No! 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 How'd you? No! I remember. I, How'd you do that? that? He's He's that? How'd you do that? He's 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 that? He's <laughs> Dude, can I be honest? I thought Ref was going to attack me like he did Capri last episode, so I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I'm gonna be honest, we have to end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Oh, so is it always going to be five of hearts or will it be a different one? Well, I mean, he could have picked any fucking card. Let me do it. Let me do it. Do it with me. Do it with, with What's already over? Already I, just, I just did the trick. You just did the trick. Do another one. He's a Texas assistant. Like, oh man, please. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts on there now. <laughs> oh, that was pretty <laughs> sick. That was. I can do one more. I'll do one more. Okay, okay, okay. How long did it take you to like kind of figure out that trick? Uh, I mean, all magic tricks have like some sort of base idea behind it, mm -hmm. and like you can kind of just mix and match and like figure things out. So I don't think people will necessarily do that. I didn't learn that exact trick. I yeah. learned the principle behind it, and then. It like applied to like I was like oh I would be cool if it was in my bio, and so yeah that's pretty much it. I that's have some amazing. magic terms. Yeah, name some. Double lift. Yeah, that that is one. Yep. What's that double is lift? One. Is that where you get like? It's actually it's a, I. <laughs> is that, is that like <laughs> this is Capri reveals magic. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Apparently, when you go to pick up someone's card, you slip another card on top, and then you can double lift them. And then you can like put it wherever you want. No, so it's you're picking magic. Up two cards. It's magic, actually. No, that's not <laughs> true. I don't believe you, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I yeah. learned it. I used to know magic. No, I don't believe you. Because Sean asked us, did you do magic when you were a kid? And you didn't answer. I did do magic. And I used but to go to the magic store every week. Really? Yeah. Though, which, which <laughs> I'm going to bleep this out. Bleep this out. Bleep this out. Wait, 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 wait. 
Huh? I've never heard of this. Yeah, dude, I was really bad at magic. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I was a kid. I my dad and me, my dad would take okay, bleep this out, draftster. We used to go to the one of mm-hmm. just just bleep out where I'm going. And then we would go every week when I would work at bleep that out too. Uh I would go pick up a magic set and a video game or a magic set. And I'd buy a magic set, like the one with the rings. And then I would do it for like my friends at school when I was like younger. But were, people, you, were you any good? I was awful, dude. I, I would be doing Capri does magic if I was no. good. <laughs> you can make a whole you can make a whole uh, thing about you doing magic, but it's just the worst. You're doing so bad at the it. The ring one was whack. Cause like back in the day when I had the ring set, like the rings would like click them together. And then you'd pull them apart, but they just had like a little thing in it. You'd always have to like, it's all about, about your hands. I feel so uncomfortable like with him Sean's, ruining magic for me. Do you know no, why Sean's, no, got, you know so why Sean's got good nails it. and good hands? Because Cause he actually about, gets a manicure on like your dirty ass, dusty oh, ass. Oh, 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 fuck. Ah, the real magic is the friendships you ruined along the way. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I can tell he got a manicure because he has it's a shiny. top coat on. But it's also coat. he's good with his hands because that's what all magic is. It's just. How good you are with your hands. Like, he could probably steal our money. We would never know. Well, could you imagine Sean doing magic, close-up magic with bad hands? Yeah. You'd be looking at the hands the whole time. How, yeah. was the, how was the person you learned from in, in high school? How were their hands? Were they, they have good hands? Mismatch. I mean, yeah, no. Yeah, clean hands. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't, I didn't look at, I didn't focus on that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Watching magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird as hell, but. Yeah, sure. Ew, you get horny for hands? <laughs> I don't, hey, hey, hey. That's, that's a girl I'm, thing. I'm, uh, I'm, wait, a girl thing? What? That is, that is a girl thing. Wait, excuse me? That I'm, is a girl I've never thing. heard of this in my entire life. No, what? it is a girl thing. A girl yeah, thing is they they love the hands. chant. The chant that they do every horny for hands. Horny for, horny horny for, for hands. hands. You need to explain, mister. That's a no. You've never had a girl compliment your hands? No. Because I have ugly hands? And you don't wash them. My hands. I That's wash why. Them. I wash them. You don't wash them, dude. What? What do you are you flexing your hand right now? <laughs> What about Raph says? Does Raph have good no, hands? No, I have pretty bad. I have pretty gnarly fingernails. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Just, I don't want to talk about yeah. my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, dude. girls are going to say you have nice nails. They're going to say you have nice hands. Are you no, complimenting? Do I have nice hands? They're kind of long and scary. They're too, they, they look too soft. <laughs> my hands are too soft. Yeah. is a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, me, like, Percy, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, man that looks like you work. I do work. <laughs> I like he has good intentions. He has like, baby hands. He if, if he was to come up, if I was like, if there was like a little kid and they were like needed a push on the swings, like he would be like one of the last <laughs> options. I got, <laughs> I got a good, I got a good story for you about him. Yeah, about him we, pushing yeah, kids yeah, yeah. on the swing. We uh, we went to it was July fourth. We went to his cousin's house. Man, no, no, we went to his whose house did we go to? We went to uh, his cousin's house. I think it was your cousin, and his nephew was there and he was playing in the pool and then oh. he. Was took a ball Please and was trying to story. play with his story. nephew and Please. just decked him in the face. Oh, it wasn't. And a his ball. nephew started crying. Uh-huh. I I just met everybody for the first okay. time. Yeah. So I was what like, kind of ball was it? What kind? It wasn't, I tried not it wasn't to. a ball. What it was wasn't it? a ball. It was a water balloon. It was right? a water balloon. It was a water balloon. Oh. And I and I, yeah. I was, is this your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> and I was Wait, trying. How old was your cousin? He, young, young, like a baby. He decked him in the face. I wasn't trying to hit him. I was trying to hit my other friend. Decked him. And oh. the water balloon slipped out of my hands because we were in the pool. And it went straight into yeah. a two-year-old's or one-year-old. But the velocity, the zoom <laughs> High speed. It and was so what happened. Slammed, and the kids started <laughs> crying. His <laughs> nephew started crying. <laughs> and I felt really oh bad. Goodness. And we left shortly after that. <laughs> we did leave shortly after Dude. that. Dude. When was it? Like, Fourth of July, two years ago. Two years ago. Can I just say, ago. though, that... Not to sound like a bad person, but sometimes kids getting hurt like that is the funniest fucking shit ever. I mean, yeah, it's just like accident. As long as they're not actually hurt, like yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, fine. yeah, just like <laughs> he's fine. He just can't hear kids. But anyways, like, what? <laughs> can't what? Gave him tinnitus. Dude. Yeah, I gave him oh, tinnitus. Mm. Got ringing. So what? Ears. What made you develop your hatred for kids? Mm-hmm. What was it? That's a good question. The fact that he doesn't have any right now. The, oh wow! Oh, you think it's a resentment thing for himself? I don't himself. have resentment towards wow. kids. I, a water balloon slipped out of my hands. And Frogan, you guys were having a conversation the whole time. Frogan goes, "I hate your hands. They're too soft. You feel like baby hands." <laughs> no, I. He said, "Do I have nice hands?" I said, "No, your hands look you too soft." You haven't lifted anything no, a day he, in your no, life. He, exactly. I said, "I lift stuff up." No, he, let me tell you what I said. He's. I thought you could hit me. <laughs> oh. So okay. I said he's like, do I have good hands? And I said, no, your hands look too soft. I like a hand of a man that looks like they they work. I was like your hand. <laughs> they yeah. not like not work like they work. That's your that's your working man. Like work like 
<laughs> yeah. What if their hands are really worky, but they're like small? They put lotion on. Yeah. I put, lo- I, I'm sorry that I like to moisturize my hands. You look like you soak your hands in uh, Mayonnaise. Epsom salt and uh, Vaseline every day. <laughs> And you don't wash it at the same time is crazy. I don't have it Vaseline so dirty hands. Bro. You know, like those homeless people you see, like uh, like on Hollywood Boulevard, where they're just covered in dirt, dude. and you're like, dude, you remember that? <laughs> how that happened? That's his hands I right now. That guy <laughs> Which one? That's so fucked Which up. Guy? My hands are good, dude. The one we gave money oh to, God. and then he used a wet one. But chat. Oh, oh yeah. Chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. One time. One time, uh, there was a homeless guy, and he was asking for money, and I gave him some money. And then after he took the dollar bill from me, he wet wiped his hands. Like I was the fucking issue. <laughs> oh, the thing is, oh, like not to be an ass. I'm really oh. crying. I think about it. Not to be an ass, but he literally had layers of dirt on both the both top. And top. Yeah, and then he and then he wet wiped his hands. Like my like what I gave him was dirty. It was the craziest thing in the entire we, world. We were like, what the fuck? Uh. He like. It blew my was, fucking... Was it Capri? No, it was, was it the homeless guy. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, that would be a very Capri thing crying? to do. Yeah. It was like, pretty funny. It, this, like, Forgot all about that. Because we, we like, looked now at... Now I'm each, angry again. We, we looked at each other. We were like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> I mean, money's dirty. I'd wipe my head too. <laughs> but fuck. I'll take your money, and I won't wash. He and over here while you're telling the story, he's literally like, sh- sh- he's like, drafter, show them my hands. <laughs> hey, can you do a trick so we can move on from you guys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How he's, about, not, he's not our monkey. Dude. You know he's what? our friend. You know what? I'll actually, just just to make, I'll do a really unsanitary magic trick. How about yeah. that? No. Ooh. Ooh, no, yeah. just dude. for you. No, because you okay. like being unsanitary. No, I love being sanitary. Everybody knows this. I have OCD about sanitation. Yes. All right. You want? You want? Should we have? You want to pick a card this time? I right, do. Yeah, cool. I picked a card last time, and I, I feel like you I. They, messed they, it up they for say all that the card that the people pick kind of represent them. That's a true statement. I've done this. Five of hearts represent me. What does I that mean? Number gross. Like you're like how? <laughs> huh? <laughs> she said odd number gross. I was like, damn, you're Yo, right. If I, if, I'm going to be honest. You should have, if it would represent you, you should have picked the instruction manual. <laughs> Why? Boring no, Because I like to follow no, the rules. No, this is Rav's card. <laughs> 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 Can't remember the rules? Yeah, that's me, dude. That's me, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, all right, well, grab a card for me. We can grab any one that you want. No, it's okay. Take your time. For example, you picked the Joker, so it kind of matches you, right? <laughs> Did you really pick the Joker? <laughs> Why? So cute. <laughs> what the hell? Hey! This is amazing, Scoot. Make him Look, pick a Scoot's card. Scoot's getting all frizzy because of how amazing it is. <laughs> no, I, I, you like I, that, Scoot? I had to wet my hair and mess it up because uh, I had the head, head, head bump. <laughs> what? From my headphones. You, oh. you wet your hair because you had the head. You're not on camera, though. I still don't want to look like a piece of shit. Why, why do I have to only look good for camera? Why can't I ever look good for me? Why am I not important enough to look good for you? It's you look good. You look good. Why, why do you do this to me? Why are you doing me? You look good, dude. I never noticed that phone bump. Oh my god, now you have a fucking afro. <laughs> you look like a dog that's got on a groomer. Oh my god. <laughs> Under there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's crazy. That's what he's saying. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you look like Aaron Paul, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you look, how did he go from nerd to skater? Like, dude, suddenly. <laughs> oh my god. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's get back into some, a little uh, bit about Sean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, do you feel like <laughs> I'm balding? Scooty got no. electrocuted. No, no, no. Do, you feel, do, you, do you feel like growing up with immigrant parents, you felt like a kind of like, uh, like that motivated you more to work as hard as you did towards Okay, I know, I know we've been joking this whole podcast, but like honestly, yeah. if I wasn't 
because bro, when I tell you the only family I have is mm -hmm. my direct family in the America. Yeah. Everybody else is in the Philippines. Right. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So like I'm the only one mm -hmm. who like if I like even if I was to work, yeah, yeah, if, if even if I was to work like at McDonald's, right, or whatever, like nine to five, or just like some really low entry job, like that would be making more money than most of the people that like, most of my family, like right. or, sorry, all of my family, really, right. Um, and so just knowing that and knowing that my dad like worked so hard to get here and like like he was like one of like only a dozen people that got a, even a chance to even come to America. That was definitely huge because it's like you. I. I mean, it's not really pressure. I don't. I don't call it pressure, but like there is like some sort of pressure mm. to like succeed because it's like wow, like we got to do this. Yeah, because I think we all have immigrant family, if not yeah. immediate. Definitely, but you guys immediate. are immigrants. Oh, immigrant family. Wait, you, you guys know? aren't. We're all first American? generations. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. Because oh, uh, it's a podcast. Yeah. Oh, Name of the oh, po hell yeah. podcast. Oh, wow. You're right. Podcast. You're right. Sean, we're Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> hey and thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate you guys like and subscribe <clears throat> but we all feel i feel like that because you know our parents do they do come here for opportunity yes. and to like work hard and they yeah. build something off of that in fact yes. Rogan and i were talking about that the other day we're like i think the majority of parents who have immigrated from another country tend to be business owners or tend to work really hard to secure a family life and for us, I mean, like for me personally, like I feel some sort of, like I said, not like, like you said, not pressure because it's not really pressure, but like that l over looming kind of like, I need to be successful in whatever I'm doing to make it up for mm -hmm. them. And then for yeah. the future generations that come after me. I have the pressure. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you met my parents. You think it's <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's true. <laughs> that's, that's your parents. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you think it's because your age? Like, I might even try to be funny right now. No, no, dude. Look at Dom. Look at me. They're both like, literally, my parents are like, yeah, you can be a millionaire, but you're not a multi millionaire yet. So it's not that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I wish to have those. Problems. I think it's crazy. My dad's not like that really at all. He's just kind of like, all right, man, you do what you got to do. And I'm like, right, we're okay. Chill. That's yeah. pretty, that's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, but I mean, but... definitely growing up, I was like, I had so much resentment towards my parents because I was like, you don't believe in my dream. Yeah, kind of stuff, but they were just always protecting me. Yeah. And I just, it's hard to see that when you're like 14 and you're it like, is. I want to move to LA. And they're yeah. like, maybe not tomorrow. Yeah. You know, because you moved here when you were 18. I, think uh, I yeah, met 18. you. When did I meet you? You met me when I was, did you meet me when I first collabed with Dom? I met you in Northridge. Oh, okay. I was at like 18. Yeah. Yeah. And he just it's moved crazy. out here because you lived with a bunch of people that you guys were like, you live next to each other each other at the time yeah 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 we were really close and so yeah i was uh, moving out i got really this is what i'm saying when i say like yeah i worked hard but also luck like i'm lucky i got to figure out that i wanted to be a magician and content creator when i was like 12 yeah you know you know I mean? people are in college right now that like like i don't know what i want to do this doesn't make me happy this doesn't make me happy and they're just trying a bunch of shit to yeah. one day find what they want <clears throat> i figured that out when i was 12 yeah and not only that i was uh you know able to figure out that i wanted to like work hard and grind on it when i was like in 14 yeah. And I spent all of high school doing that. I didn't have to pay a single goddamn bill during that time. You know, I mean, people were grinding out content creating and they're fucking have to worry about their phone bill, their rent, their fucking yeah. food, their everything. And it's like, damn, when I did that, I didn't have to worry about a damn thing because my parents covered that. So it's like, ah, I, fuck, I'm lucky that. And then everything picked up right when I was graduating high school and I could move out here. It was mm -hmm. very lucky. How did they react when you told them you didn't want to go to college? Or was that kind of a thing that like, they already knew that you weren't going to go to college. Uh, I would no. I talk to them all the time, all okay. the damn time. I would tell them since I was freshman in high school. I was like, "Yo, I'm not going to college." And this is like comparing to my sister, who was like, she was like one of the smartest. She, she had the highest SAT score in our school. Yeah. And um, and so it's like, yeah, she had like a 14 something. It was crazy. And when I came home with my 1075 as P pre SAT scores, like the practice one, mm -hmm. um. Uh, my parents were like really upset with me and I remember thinking like this is like a key moment like oh like my parents don't believe in me they don't see that this doesn't matter but like when you are a kid that's all you see yeah when you're like older you're like oh wait they got to make sure that this generation succeeds so right it's like oh that makes sense maybe my parents don't hate me yeah you know I mean my, my parents were like that until Dominic popped off and they're like oh yeah you can make money like if you're making money did they like be like okay oh uh, yeah no I bro I remember that like I don't know. I I remember getting my very first brand deal, um, like major brand deal, and 
um, I have not, I didn't do any big brand deals prior to this. I was doing like, maybe like, like small little one-off ones for my story. Like most I was making per month was a couple hundred dollars, whatever. But I remember like I signed with an agency and they finally were pitching me to places and whatnot. And, uh, Kaiser Permanente, the, the health, whatever mm -hmm. they reached out and they were like, you have a big presence. We want to tell all these kids to mask up and like, also like, try to st stay active and be fit during quarantine times. Cause this was 2020 right when it yeah. happened. Yeah. And so like, they were like telling me like, can we do like a promo to remind people to like mask up and like try to stay fit. You know, it's like more of like a government, like also like Kaiser Permanente campaign. And when I saw the offer, it was like one TikTok video, five figures. I said, that's, that's crazy. crazy. I was like, how? And I was doing like hundred dollar like story like, uh, and this was the first time in the, this age the uh, like the um, agency that I was with was like, yeah, that's about your rate. And I was like, about my rate when? About my rate when? I just did like a gum promo the week prior for like twelve dollars. Like, what do you what do you mean about my rate? And they were like, yeah, like you you probably been way undercharged. And um, that moment when I told my parents that, like, like they were like they they couldn't under couldn't you can't even fathom that. Like yeah, that's yeah. like. Two months, three months of work, you know? And yeah, I just I have to post a silly little TikTok, which took me 10 seconds to do, bro. It was like so easy. And, um, yeah, that was insane. And then from there, I bought my like very, I bought my first car and then I started to save up for LA and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Thanks, man. You did a lot of, did you, you, did you do a lot of your content through COVID? Yeah, that's what like really, like, so I was really early on TikTok. Like when Musical.ly turned into TikTok, yeah. like I was like one of the first people that went to TikTok. And um, I remember posting videos for fun because you at the were time on it was TikTok just, when they were doing it was mo when they were pushing TikTok it was mostly furries. Oh yeah, lip syncing to oh, music. Oh yeah, and people yeah. would like start. That, Did you that, have the app on your phone when it turned to TikTok? No. Did you have like Musically on your phone and then it I, I had TikTok? a Musically, but like I just I didn't do anything with it, and then I don't know. I didn't see the transition. No. Oh okay. No. No. Well, no I was like the one of the ones that had musically and then all of a sudden it became TikTok one day. Really? And you were like, what the fuck? What what is TikTok? And Dude, it when it was first bro, people were making fun of TikTok a ton because it was like the furries. It was like it was like a ton of like really like just out there shit. And people and then comedians started going onto the app and started making fun of people. Yeah. And then slowly there were comedy videos. And so it wasn't just dance, it wasn't just like furries, it was then comedians. And then I joined and I was like, oh, comedy skits. Let me try some comedy skits. First video I did was actually a dance, did about 80 views. I was like, make it out the mom, quit your job now, second time. Um, no, but then the second one, I did like a meme of like this, uh, like what it's like to be like a freshman in high school or whatever. Mm. Um, and it got like 5 million views. And I was like, this was the first, first time that like very low effort, like I wasn't trying, I was just like, whatever. Like, yeah. whoa. And so I, from there, I just consistently stayed at it. But um, that, so that this was 2019 and then where I really had my like big growth, I, I grew pretty fast on TikTok. Like I grew to like 1.5 million in a year. And that was like, like, whoa, like there were start slowly started magicians were coming on to other, other talents, other like science niches, like mm -hmm. Dominic were slowly going on to TikTok, whatnot. And then eventually, uh, like quarantine covid all of that happened right and everybody decided to download tiktok for some reason and mm -hmm. i was just at the right place at the right goddamn time because when i was posting two three times a day and tiktok needed to fill that audience of people that were coming in and for seven weeks straight i did a million followers a week and i went from like two million to like 10 million in like seven weeks and it was every week it was like this this new milestone new milestone and um yeah that was like and it was during that time where I also got the brand deal. And that's kind of like, that moment was just like, whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. Wild. That's wild. Shit. It's wild because like, you're one of the OGs like on TikTok. Don't say that, bro. But you are. I'm not an OG. Yeah, you are an OG. From oh. TikTok? Yeah. You're an OG. Yeah. No. You're, still going, OG. you're still going strong, but you are an OG TikToker. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird being called an OG when I'm like, I don't know. You're young, but like, you're young, but you're still an OG. help make the platform what it is today. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I don't know. I don't really know. You're what too my... humble for your own good, dog. Like you need to, you need to get angry. You need to like be like the shit. Yeah, yeah. You need, you need to be, be like, like yeah. yeah, I'm that fucking bitch. Yeah, I'm that fucking bitch. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you and your mom. I hate your mom. Tell her I said hi. 
<laughs> that it? Is that why I should? Say yeah, that? dude, I do it. You're an OG. You're yeah, an OG. You're an OG, man. I mean, it's you weird. Really, I mean, if you think about it like that, like you really kind of made that platform what it was for the past three years. <laughs> Me and Charlie. You and Charlie. That's it. <laughs> you know. Do you yeah. still do you still post on TikTok? Yeah, post it today. Are oh, you posted today? Yeah, I post as much as I can. You do? Yeah, but my end goal is to like. And it's always been my end goal is to dominate long form YouTube. Yeah. You want to be a like, personality. Yeah. I just want to do that. I just want to do it. When you come to Twitch, dude, we got to get you on Twitch. Man, I would, uh, dude, I would love to you don't get Twitch. On, no. I don't want to go on Twitch. No, I would love. He nah, wants to get on Twitch. You, I mean, I th actually, you know what? I think you would do actually pretty good. All I, th really I think you'd do great on Twitch, viewers, but like, fuck Twitch. You don't want to. Yeah. Would love to do Twitch, man. Would you I, do gaming? No, no. I would just talk. No, talk. I just talk. talk. But, um. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just there's like so many. My my manager always tells me about this because it's like I'm very like I want to do everything at once. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Like this year is like really dialing in on like these are the the things that we need to focus on this year because like I get spread out too thin. Mm -hmm. Pause. No pause. And I just no I, Diddy. No. Di <laughs> <laughs> and I just um <laughs> I I don't know. I I would love to do it, and I have so much respect for y'all because you guys. Twitch is, bro, how do you sit there for eight hours, bro? Like, what? I, I go live it's on TikTok rough. for an hour. I'm it's like, rough. oh, my God. I want to, like, it's like, I don't get it. I don't get well, it. While you were making videos during COVID, we were all practicing sitting down for eight hours a day <laughs> talking to nobody. Practicing you know what I mean? Is crazy. That's what it was. Yeah. That's how we practiced. We would go live and we would, or we would just play games on our own and just, well, at least for me. I would just talk nonstop. I could not. I tried Twitch one time, like for like three days. Yeah. And, um, bro, when I tell you that, like, it is so hard for me to game and talk at the same time, I have to be like locked in. I don't it's understand rough. how people commentate and be entertaining. It's right. That. That's why I say I would like just talk, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I started pretty late streaming game wise. I started yeah. uh, August 2021. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're, You're Frogan, pretty accomplished for like yeah, I was August gonna say, Frogan, Frogan's always like, oh, I never, I, I feel like I didn't succeed. I'm like, dude, you pop the fuck off, dude. I've been doing 2021 it. has been like, what, August, you said? Mm -hmm. It hasn't even been three years. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> and, and you've been like trending before, and it's only been three years of your career. For, for the wrong reasons. I posted matter. my that's first true. YouTube video when I was nine years old. You know how long? That was what? That was like, what, 13? <laughs> that's crazy. That's 13 years ago. I haven't stopped thinking about this. Yeah, why'd you pick it? I don't know. I was going for Queen, but I got the fucking Joker. Yeah, dude. Wow, it's a sign. It's Another sick. bad omen's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you hear? Did you hear about this? No. She found a pigeon two days in a row. One pigeon was seriously injured, and we we brought it to a, oh a sanctuary. And well, not really a sanctuary, just some old woman's house. She has, has a, a pigeon, pigeon sanctuary in her house. <laughs> And then the next day, she found. Wait, is that why there's a pigeon, like the next to the parking lot? What do you mean there's a pigeon next to the parking lot? The one that's dead right up. You're joking. <laughs> no, I'm fucking. Oh, uh, dude, that would be crazy. <laughs> it came Three back. Three dead pigeons in a row. Came I'm back. Imagine. I'll imagine. I'll that so no, I don't want it. I, no, I'm not gonna get into it. I'll, 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 I'll finish the story on Patreon. No, <laughs> no, I'll say it, and then if we have to believe it, we'll believe okay. it. So literally, she two two. Wait, injured. now I'm confused. No, no. Why can't you say it? Two, I'll tell you right now. Two injured and or like dead pigeons, right? So the and, first yeah. one was injured. Second one, I pulled out of my apartment. It was just like dead. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Because I, I was like triggered because I literally told Raph the day before. I was like, I never want to think about a pigeon for the rest of my fucking life because I will cry. Because the, the lady basically said that the pigeon's going to die. Basically. The next day she finds a pigeon dead. And then on that day... Trump got Oops. shot. I, I, and I tweeted out, two minutes before he got shot, I was like, found a dead pigeon. This feels like a bad omen. Oh, And then, and then two minutes later, the joke oh, of guys, like, the God, assassination dude, attempt. there's just no way. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> right? And, and then everyone's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And yeah. Okay, so like, what? Have you seen anything weird recently or... I'm done leaving my house. All right, bro. All right, bro. I'm done leaving my fucking Frogan. house. Like, as soon as you drive home, just a pigeon just lands on your windshield. Dude, I, I would literally have to pull over. I think I would like wings to... flapping, like, like ah! would... that would ruin your life for the like weeks. I, I think I would genuinely just stay in my house for the rest of my for a good few weeks if oh, that happened. No. We God. drove by one time. We were on our way to Vegas. We drove by uh, cows in a trailer. And she almost had like a full panic attack, Wait, and went to break down, just because the cat, the cows were in there. 
Just because the cows. Because it's, it's the the slaughter truck. They're on their way to get slaughtered for meat. Oh, I thought you just saw a cow and you're like, ah, oh, no, no. So the <laughs> no, they were on the truck on the like on the highway. Yeah, cows really freak. And it made me, no, <laughs> yeah. it made me cry. I was like, because I mean, that's literally why I went vegetarian a few years ago because I saw the slaughter truck. I was like. It looks so I didn't sad. Even know like that there was like a slaughter through. truck. Is that is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, like that's how they transport them to the slaughterhouses. Where they, they get transferred? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, from the ranch to the house. So a farm usually a ranch will raise them to be meat, it's and crazy. then they will. Yeah, I've learned two things on this podcast. And that now. time it was from her. Where was she ranked tier wise as far as like learning she, something? No, definitely a higher. Up higher. There. Yeah, you were like really low. Dang, dude. Yeah. What about me? Was I the highest? What? You're not even on the damn list, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not even on the list, bro. We only let people wash their hands on the list. Oh my god. So what's your what's your plan for the future? Because you said you you and your management or yeah. agency are working on very specific goals this year. Yeah. What were those goals? I mean, the big thing is like we just want to uh, be fucking rich. That's all. That's yeah. Really, that's that. I mean, that uh, honestly. Oh, we just want to build a business that's like outside of social media, yeah. w- like that can withstand on its own, which is why we're building Sean Teaches Magic. That's that's oh, literally God. we're trying to find all the future magicians and teach like promote something that like we think can genuinely help them. Yeah. Um, and also monetize also. So but have like a standing business outside of social media. So it's like Hustler Universities, but wholesome. Yeah, I mean, wholesome that's not how I would wholesome university. Yeah. <gasps> I like that. I like that. But yeah, I wouldn't describe it as I'm t- is that um, uh, you actually get value? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah. And if you refer people, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the link's going to be right here. <laughs> Sponsor. Is it already up or is it? We're working, working on, on it right it? now. So that's like our big thing, but also just like long form YouTube. Just really, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm Sorry, a, I'm a, bro, I will continue to say this, bro, on, on every podcast. Like, I, for one, I will host Oscars. So. You will see this in every podcast I do. I will host Oscars and I will pull up every podcast that I do when I do host Oscars yes. and clip them all together. So this will be one of them. I promise you it's going to happen. I know that for a fact. It's going to happen. What if oh. it happens next year? What? What if it happens next year? What? What? What would have had to happen to make me host Oscars next year? Like, what? Can, I, can I give they you, you that? Joe Coy. Yeah. No. That's it. No, can, no, 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 no. <laughs> they, they thought you were Ned. They think you're Ned. <laughs> they reach out to you. You go. Fuck, I'm not saying anything. You know, I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> you say yes, you show up, you host the Oscars. Oh my God. This is actually a great plan. This is a That's good plan. It's not that hard, plan. dude. Yeah. Let me talk to your just manager. Clone I think we can figure out this plan. Listen, yeah. a lot of people do scams. Clone his email, make it like the same email, like Ned. You know what? Ned at Spider Man dot, you know, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> no calm, dude. No uh, calm. No calm. Dude. Uh, <laughs> Spider Man dot info. Dot info, yeah. yeah. Dot How info. does it feel yeah. hitting 10 mil on YouTube? I mean, I was going to ask you the same thing. How does it feel that you Bro, hit 10 Bro, every time Sean hits a milestone, I hit that milestone because he leaves his plaques around and I pick him <laughs> up and I can't wait for my fucking 10 million, do- 10 oh million YouTube plaques. Yeah. I've yeah, tweeted Sean's plaques so many times and so many people get confused by it every time. They're like, hey man, congrats. And then one yeah. person will be like- Somebody could tweet me congratulating me and I felt so bad. Bleep out who it is. Uh, the- Yes. I posted a picture with your plaque and she's like, oh my God, congratulations. I was like, it's not <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> All right. Well, we got to get you there. Where are you at on YouTube? 5,000. <laughs> well, you realize you can never post, post it again. I know. You can never post it again. But, but this one will say Froken. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know Froken. what? They have the website where you can just buy them. That's so cringe though. I want to earn it. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I want to earn like, it. Like your birthday. That is but I cringe. haven't done anything to work towards YouTube, <laughs> to be honest. Really? Yeah. I don't have any ideas. And he's going to be like, yeah, I told you, you so many ideas. You do. I don't, though. We had a conversation about your ideas, which is why I know you have ideas. Cody Cardi did them. He doesn't count. People don't care about that yet. Believe it. D'Angelo dropped the video today. I just watched a million views. Yeah, I just watched five minutes of it, but that's besides the point. I have to work on it. Yeah, you'll get there. You'll I hope get so. There. And we'll then see. you'll get an actual message from Bleep. From Bleep. Yeah. But I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God. I just liked it because I was like, I don't want to be like, oh, that's not me. It's like. Oh, and she was. Bleep was so nice. She's so fucking nice. So nice, dude. Damn. That's. that's... I know. I felt like an ass. I, was... I, lo- I lost my dog at a party and then I turned around and she was just like with the dog and she's like, I got him. I'm like, oh my God. No shot, bro. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah.
pretty great. Very nice. Very nice people, dude. Right. So dude. next, when I do get the plaque, um, the 10 mil, I will make sure that y'all get first photos. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. I have a really good idea. We're going to take the photo with you in the background going, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back here uh sean what do you want to shout out because we're gonna cut over to the patreon bro right now but what do you want to shout out what uh, do you want to say yeah first and foremost i want to shout out to the people in the oscars crowd watching this right now shout out to you guys thank you for believing me and thank you for having me and sean don't fuck it up tonight come on do better all right i know you're <laughs> fucking it up all right you you missed a couple lines no, but in all seriousness um uh if you guys want to continue the magic over at shauna's magic on all platforms TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the above. Feel free. You guys do not have to. And also, I want to plug you guys hitting the subscribe button on this channel. I know you're not subscribed. And you better subscribe or I'll find your house. And I won't do anything about it, but I will still find your house. And that's not fun. <laughs> I'm scared. And if you made it to the end of this video, remember to comment Capri does magic. No, comment. Uh, what's a magic word? Wash your hands. Oh, Alakazam. Alakazam. Wash your hands is a yeah, great magic Yeah, wash your hands. Word. Wash your hands is better. Yeah, comment wash your hands. If you, yeah, if you made it to the end, comment wash your hands. We're going to go over to the Patreon. <laughs> so if you want to see more, uh, Patreon link will be down below. Sean's links will be down below. You can find all of Sean's links in the description. Yeah. And in the Patreon, I will be exposing myself. I mean, I will be exposing the magic. The magic. Yes. The no pause. And himself. And, and that is the end of the episode. Slowly just fade to black. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Did bro? They stole. This is a stolen concept. Really? Yeah. B didn't Belle Delphine do the same thing? What? <laughs> no, she sold her bath water. <laughs> <She did. laughs> Wait, was that a real question? <laughs> <laughs>